So today we're going to be reviewing a, another uh, Decathlon Four Plaz freeze-dried meal. Uh, this is, uh, in this particular case, is the rice and chicken curry. Uh, the last one I tried was the pasta, uh, which was really nice. Uh, let's see if this one is as good. Uh, for comparison, I've got some other things to, to look at as well. Um, so just over here, we've got the Mountain House chicken korma curry, which is basically the same uh, in terms of style of meal. It's a freeze-dried, it's a chicken curry with rice. Uh, there are some differences, which I'll go over in a minute. Uh, I've got some other new freeze-dried meals to try as well. This is the Fire Pot brand. This is a new brand to me. It appeared in my local store recently. Uh, I noticed it's got the Duke of Edinburgh recommended kit logo on it. Uh, if you're outside the UK, that's a national organisation that promotes uh, outdoor activity and volunteering. Uh, and this one's a beef stew with pearl barley. Uh, this one here is a vegan bolognese. So I'm just going to compare them in terms of the packaging and in terms of the calorie content. So, for example, going back to this one, this one doesn't say the calorie content on the packaging on the front. Uh, it does tell you that it's um, 407 kilocalories per 100 grams, but there's 120 grams in here, so we need to work that out. Uh, it says one person, 40% meat, and it's gluten-free, if that's a thing that's important to you, which it is for a lot of people. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, French brandy. The Catalan store is a French originating brand. On the back, we have the cooking instructions. Uh, pretty straightforward. Open the packet, fill it up to level number seven, which is 300 mils of water. Stir, leave it for six minutes, and then eat. Uh, going up here, we can see that per packet it has 488 calories. Now, if we compare that with the other packets, the Mountain House manages to get 564 calories into its bag. The uh, Firepot Beast Juice, 520. And the Vegan Bolognese, 525. So the, the Kaplan one's a little bit light on calories. However, is it any lighter overall? So, the pack is 120 grams, it reckons. How much does this one weigh? 108 grams. And this one... 110 grams. 135 grams. So in fact, the Mountain House manages to get the most calories in the lightest packet. So that's a clever bit of ingredient choice be able to do that. Uh, we will see if it makes a difference to the flavours when we do get around to trying the Mountain House one. But uh, it seems to be that the, in terms of the calories, at least the rice and chicken curry from the Catalan team is a little bit light on energy. Let's see how it is for flavour though.
Say. It smells alright. It's a little bit runny, I may have put too much water in it. It's still too hot. Okay, so flavor is quite mild, it's not spicy. The rice has gone a bit wishy. I gave it eight minutes, not seven, uh, six. Uh, just because I set on the camera set, maybe because of that. Let's try a bit of chicken. So the chicken's reconstituted well. It's not dry. I've had some rehydrated meats that are really powdery. That's done quite well. It's quite salty. It's quite salty. That's not necessarily a bad thing if you're losing salts when you're walking. And sometimes it's good to get them back. But I think in this case the salt is trying to substitute for flavour because it's a little bit flavourless. So that was a bigger bit of meat. That's definitely fine. It's not powdery or crunchy in the middle. Definitely hydrated correctly. compared to the pasta meal from Decathlon. Well, you have to watch the other videos to find out. But it's not bad. I'd give it a three out of five, I think. I think if I'd stop for lunch or dinner on the trail, I'd be walking all day. I'd be more than happy to eat this. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. I think I'll probably put too much water in it because uh, it's a little bit uh, sloppy. But it's definitely edible. It's a shame it doesn't have as many calories in as some of the other pre pat meals. Uh, it is quite a lot cheaper than some of the other pre pat meals though, so that may have something to do with it. Flavour wise, it's not bad, but if I had some seasonings with me, I think I would probably use them. Maybe a little bit of curry powder or something like that. Hmm. Definitely edible. Three out of five. Hopefully that's been useful. However, that's not quite the end of the story because about halfway through eating that meal, I got bored. Um, the flavour just wasn't enough to uh, keep me eating it. It was a normal day. It was my lunch. Uh, I hadn't eaten anything beforehand, but I just got so bored of, uh, of eating it that um, it really does benefit from having some extra seasoning in there, I think. I did finish it off after putting in a little bit of salt and, and some other seasoning so uh, but in view of that I'm going to reduce my overall score from a three down to a two. It's also interesting to note that at, at the time of recording uh, it's no longer available on the Decathlon website so I do wonder whether they've had some negative feedback about it.